So today, we'll be talking about conception. Conception is the process of becoming pregnant, involving fertilization or implantation. The first step to conception is when an egg exits the ovary into the fallopian tube and becomes an oocyte. In an oocyte, many sperms um, try to get in, but the zona pellucida keeps them away. In the next step is fertilization, and we call this day zero because this is when we start counting. And in fertilization, a sperm is able to get through the zona pellucida into the egg. In day one, one day after fertilization, this egg becomes a zygote. In day two, division starts happening and the egg becomes a two cell egg. In day three, it is a four cell. In day four, it is now an eight cell, which we call a morula. In day five, it is now called a blastocyst. In day six and seven, the same the zona pellucida in the blastocyst comes off, and in day eight and nine, the implantation of the blastocyst into the endometrium, which is the uterus lining, begins. The implantation of the blastocyst causes the release of a hormone called HCG, and this hormone mimics another hormone in the regular cycle, which is called LH. And the function of LH, which is now the function of HCG, is to produce progesterone. And the function of progesterone is to continue the development of the, endome the endometrium, the uterus lining. So, to summarize, there are several steps to the development of the egg. It is first an oocyte, which is fertilized to become a zygote, and then undergoes a process of division to become an 8-cell marula, and which then becomes a blastocyst and is implanted into the endometrium. And the hormone HCG is very important to the, to the process of conception because it allows the endometrium to continue growing and not shed like it would in a normal menstrual cycle.